Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Outlook, you can navigate to the folders in your account and display their contents using the navigation bar. The navigation bar in Outlook 2013 was previously called the navigation pane in older versions of Outlook. In Outlook 2013, the navigation bar appears at the bottom of the Outlook window and displays the categories of Outlook items, such as mail, calendar, and people, for example. When you click on a category button, the items within that category will then display in a folder pane at the far left side of the Outlook window. In Outlook 2013, you cannot change the display of the navigation bar, but you can set the display of the folder pane. You can do this by clicking the View tab within the ribbon, and then clicking the Folder Pane button within the Layout button group. You can then set the placement of the folder pane. You can change the layout of items within the navigation bar by selecting the Options command from the Folder Pane drop-down button's menu of commands. You can then set the order of the categories within the navigation bar within the Navigation Options dialog box that appears and then click the OK button to apply them when you're finished. Now if using Outlook 2010, you can set the display of the navigation pane by clicking the View tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Navigation Pane button in the Layout button group. If you're using Outlook 2007, you can set the display of the navigation pane by selecting View and then Navigation Pane from the menu bar. In either version, you can then set the display option that you prefer from the menu of choices that appears. The navigation pane is broken into separate sections. You can click on the name of one of these sections to view the Outlook folders within the folder pane. For example, if you click the Mail heading, you will see your Inbox Mail folder and other mail folders. Now if you click on a folder displayed in the folder pane, the contents of that folder will then be displayed to the right. So for example, clicking the Inbox folder will display a listing of the email that you have received. You can then access the contents of the folder in the pane that appears to the right. If you select one of the Mail folders, you will also have access to the Reading pane. This pane displays the contents of the currently selected mail message in a pane at the far right side of the application window. If you're using Outlook 2013 through 2010, you can set the display of the reading pane by clicking the View tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Reading Pane button that appears in the Layout button group. If you're using Outlook 2007, you can set the display of the reading pane by selecting View and then choosing Reading Pane from the menu bar. You can then set the display option that you prefer from the menu of choices that appears. At the right side of the Outlook window is where the To-Do bar will be displayed. This bar does not appear by default in Outlook 2013, but it does appear by default in Outlook 2010 and 2007. This bar shows your calendar as well as any appointments and tasks that you should be aware of. If you're using Outlook 2013 through 2010, you can set the display of the To Do bar by clicking the View tab within the ribbon and then clicking the To Do bar button that appears in the Layout button group. Now if you're using Outlook 2007, you can set the display of the to-do bar by selecting view from the menu bar, then choosing the to-do bar command, 
and then setting the display options that you prefer in the menu of choices that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.